Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Aidan and today I'm going to be showing you my new multimeter. So I'm going to do just a very quick review and my show my initial thoughts and impressions on the unit. So I bought this one to replace my, my old one which has uh, mysteriously disappeared. So we'll open it up and uh, have a look to see see what it's like. So the multimeter I've gone for is the UNI-T uh, UT89X. So this is the version that has the temperature probe so you can do temperature measurements. Um, it's not a feature I used regularly on my previous uh, multimeter, but it comes in handy now and then. So I, uh, I chose that one over the other one. So I think the other one has a sort of a, a live, um, live wire test function. So I actually bought this one on Amazon. So in the box you've got the multimeter itself, a set of test probes which feel like they're reasonable quality, not, not the best but perfectly adequate for what I'm going to be using it for. And then we've got our temperature probe which is a thermocouple. Not sure what type of thermocouple it is but um, I think it goes up to a thousand degrees. And then we've also got user manual and some kind of information card which is in Chinese so I'm going to have to use Google Translate to work out what that's for. Let's get some batteries in the unit and see what it's like. So it takes four AAA batteries Now I don't have anything to compare this to, so I can't really do any tests in terms of its accuracy, but I can certainly test some of its functions. So we've got, of course, resistance. It's it's not auto-ranging. Um, I think we've got a capacitance test mode as well. This is a live, um, a live wire tester, so I believe you can just sort of stick the uh, the the red or the the positive test probe into a socket or onto a wire and it will indicate whether it's live or not. Um, we've got a diode test and continuity which is probably one of the most widely used features or certainly for me. So yeah and we've got this green indicator light which illuminates as well although there is a slight delay. So we've got HFE I'm not too sure what that is. Um, not something I've used before, so I don't know. A duty cycle or frequency. Uh, this is our temperature measurement, so we'll just give that a quick test. It does also have a nice built-in stand, so you can set it on a surface like that, which is quite handy. So here's our thermocouple. So as you can see, I'm squeezing it with my between my thumb and finger, and it's just warming up there, so... Again, how accurate it is, I don't know. Um, I might do a more detailed review at a later point once I've used it a little bit more. Oh, okay, so that's not the best quality, it seems. It's actually come apart there, but I think this can just screw back on, so it's not a huge issue. Yeah, this, this doesn't feel like the best quality, so I mean, I, I imagine that this is something you've got to be careful with. But yeah, overall, the meter itself feels reasonably sturdy. Um, it's probably not, you know, it's not going to feel as robust as a fluke, but it's, I think, for general home use and sort of light uh, use in the garage, it, it should be absolutely fine. It's got a slightly rubberized over molding as well, so that should give it some protection. Um, so, yeah, we've also got um, current, so right down to 60, well, down to, I suppose, microamps there, up to 20 amps by the look of it. Um, we've got AC current as well, AC voltage, and then DC voltage. And then I believe this setting here is a non-contact voltage detection. So I guess like a stud finder. So we'll just give that a quick try. So if I put that next to something, 
that's live. So it's detecting that that is a live wire. I'm not sure what the, the lines mean on the screen. I think that's probably an indication of the voltage that it's detected. So yeah, a handy feature if you're trying to work out where you, your wires are running in your walls or something like that. Um, I do actually have a stud finder as well, which has a, a mains detect, detection feature. Um, but yeah, useful to have this on, on here as well. And we've also got a LED torch on the back as well. So that's quite a handy little feature if you're working in a dark area. It's not hugely bright, but in fact, I'll just turn the light off so you can see. Yeah, so it's not it's not hugely bright and it's quite a narrow beam, but it's useful to have nonetheless. And in fact, the uh, the backlights come on as well. So it's got an automatic backlight. So we've got a light dependent resistor up just above the screen. So it's a um, very useful feature to have. Um, it's something that I wanted on my next multimeter because the previous one that I had had this feature and it was it was very useful. So you don't need to, you know, when you're trying to test something awkward, you don't need to um, try and balance a torch or hold a torch in your mouth just to see the screen. I'm just going to turn the torch off. There we go. Backlight's just gone off. So yeah, I think um, overall I'm reasonably happy with it. I was expecting it to feel a little bit more solid in the hand. But it's still it's still quite a solid unit anyway. Um, it's got the holders for the test probes on the back, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I shall be putting this to use. So my first uh, first project I'm going to use it on is repairing a generator, which I bought as a project. So I'm hoping it's going to be a simple loose connection or something, but we shall find out. So make sure you're subscribed if you're interested to see that video. So yeah, final thoughts on the uh, Unity UT89X multimeter are that it's a it's a decent multimeter. I think, um, as I said, can't comment on the ac accuracy at the moment because I've got nothing to compare it against. But it seems reasonably well made. It's got more than enough features for what I need. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.